Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing against Rooklyn, one of the uh, subscribers for the channel, one of the patrons for the channel. Uh, I am, uh, sorry, I apologize for the lack of webcam. I am a mess right now. <laughs> I am an absolute mess. Uh, uh, so we're jumping into Historic first. Yeah, so she and I, she, we uh, have Brawl, we have Historic Brawl, we have Historic, we have Standard. So, oh, wrong button. There we go. There we go. Also, shout out to Michael. Hi, Michael. Right. Can we... 60 card. 60 cad. Best of one. Sure. And then I challenge you. How's everybody's day been? I hope that yours has been a-okay. It's been alright. Alright, since we're doing historic first, let me see. Let me show off the merfolk. I guess I should have tried to show off the deck list a little bit first. I, I'm gonna go out of the limb and guess that Rukulin is gonna be rocking elves to start off. I think Rukulin is to elves what I am to merfolk, but more so. <laughs> that being our pet tribe, I suppose. I don't know. I, I used to be a huge Sliver fan. I, I guess I still am, just if I had the choice between Slivers or merfolk. I know what I'm taking. Uh, you know what? tragedy of all tragedies, I have started the stream without any coffee. Oh, Historic Brawl. Oops! Oops. Yeah, that'll do it. Oops! Oh no. <laughs> Let's do, take two. Let's try this again. Brawl. There we are. Well, let me do Historic Brawl or just Brawl? Alright, cool. Hopefully that'll do it. Now, there is a festival for Historic Brawl going on right now, but the rewards are only cosmetic and you have to pay actual money for it, so I'm not too keen on it, to be honest. Here's my favorite. You're, you're broken. I, just, I haven't taken you apart yet. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Ooh, hi, Giganta. Maybe I should have gone for five color, like Joda. Ooh, okay. Opponent goes first. So we are a land destruction deck. Seeing Kaza probably tells Rukulin what I'm doing, because <laughs> I guess I'm just that kind of guy. That kind of guy. Hmm. Guess we'll play the Spire Bluff Canal first. Right along. I have Kaza into Rubble Reading next turn. Though, it being a five color deck, maybe we have to worry about Spirit. Oh. <laughs> your signature card, Ruglin. Always your signature card. And then we might as well just hit for one. <laughs> oh, I have a request sent. Your signature card. There we go. Signature card. Oh, hi, Teferi. Hmm. That can definitely play around the shenanigans I was hoping to try to pull off here. Number of wizards you control. Yeah, it's a five-color deck, so let's try to shut down, shut off as much mana as possible right now. Even though Teferi is out to so try to filter her out of this. Think that we can make this work? Maybe. The next turn we'll have the Cinder Wind. Seismic Shift. Ooh, I didn't mean to grab that. Hello? I meant to grab you down to the bottom. As you can imagine from it being Kaza, this is a fairly low to the ground deck. The curve, aside from Thousand Year Storm, I think the curve tops at four. Oh, that could be wrong. Oh, wait, and Ral. Uh, one of the, the five mana rounds. Now, that said, I'm not sure, because of Arcane Signet being around, any color, black or green. Ooh. Nice. I dig it. Yeah, we're to the point now where I need to focus less on uh, land destruction and more on just straight up killing things. Hmm. 
Let's see, yeah, there's the phase out. Okay. You can deal damage to a planeswalker. You had a planeswalker, Hattie. So let's shoot it at you. I guess I. Ah, oh, I should have done it. Uh, to fairy. Yeah, I probably should have done it to fairy. It's okay. My touch pad is uh, it's going a little bit wild. It might end up actually working out that it's not that I don't have a webcam as well. Because for whatever reason, MTG arenas seem to become more into oh jeez, intensive. Oh this is fun. Twice each turn, so they can act activate Teferi twice. Yeah, I definitely should have uh, hit Teferi then instead. Because he can activate twice each turn. Which means plus 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 minus plus 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 minus. And very quickly we'll get into the extra turn shenanigans. Also, with uh, the new Kazmina giving him a plus two each time. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I'd, I'd say that that's alright. Uh, target creature, target creature. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Ooh. Who are you going to hit? Draw a discard. Oh, they can activate it twice. Okay. You can go for it. I like that I have more cards, but you are definitely winning on board. Alright. I'm gonna force you to fade. Well, alright, let's do this first. So we're not there yet. We need one more to have another fairy. This fairy's at six, I think. I hate to do it. We just don't have the mana for it right now. Ooh, blitz! Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Right. So this is enough. If if they if she phases out, no matter which. Uh, which creature is done. Wait a minute, no, that's not true. Plus again, uh, I should have used Blitz here. It's okay. I messed up. I don't know what I'm doing, apparently. I'm tired. Okay, so another plus. So this will be seven. Yeah, okay, so that's enough. Take out the fair. Okay, we're good. Just pardon me for being super five brain over here. Five head. There we go. All right, so two two walkers down, but now we're even on cards. And any other planeswalker that comes in is going to get silly really quickly. Speaking of, hi Lily, on it. Here we are. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's drop a braid. Maybe it should have been seismic shift. But a, a braid can't target planeswalker, so I, I think that that's okay. Ooh. Very nice. Give you the nice on that for sure. You have earned it. Right. Yeah. yeah, this should do. Should it be X equals two, so we can deal two damage to Liliana, and or actually we could just do it at one and hold up Blitz, couldn't we? If we attack Liliana ourselves. Uh, hello. Oh, wait a minute, but we have to use both reds. So we won't have access to Blitz, so we might as well just fire the whole thing over here. Yeah, and then we can get the we get a tiny bit of damage in against uh, against Rukelin herself. All right, deal two. Woo! Oh no! Hey, 
Yay, we're not tied anymore. Hurrah. Also, what did she discard? A Channy. Super friends. Oh, hi, bro. Oh, there you are. Hi, Vorinclex. Uh, as much as I'd like to blow up a land. Zap. Now, let's do it. So this is a trium. So we'll hit Indoth the trium. Uh, hello? There it goes. Up to two creatures. You know what? You can't block. Why not? In all seriousness, there are instances when you'll want to target your own stuff so that they can't counter the spell necessarily. Um, but that's not what we're doing here. Okay, big buddy. Okay. Destroy target non-basic land. Well, geez. You're gonna take a hefty old hit. Bibbity. Bop. Just can't stop. As much as I'd like to draw a ton of cards, this doesn't do as much good yet. We need more lands first. Maybe I shouldn't play this yet. Ah, uh, I think it's okay. My engine tapped. And then next turn we'll have the ability to use Glimpse twice. Oh, you have haste! Huh. There we go. Hey, buddy. You have haste. Now, sadly, this will still make one of any color. Ooh. Evolution Sage. If we hold on to Ruin Blaster, they won't be able to she won't be able to attack with Evolution Sage. Alright, before we play the land, let's use Glints. And we all need to take five. One, since we don't have any creature recursion in the deck. Two. I guess it doesn't matter realistically. Three, four. Land destruction would be doing its thing, but actually Gigantha is kind of messing that up a lot. Just a lot. We can do it again. Ah, uh, we don't need more lands. Come on. Come on, deck. Uh, we already played our land, and this is an instant, so we can wait. Plus, we might actually drop the Goblin Ruin Blaster here tomorrow. You're too slow. Come on, step it up. Take it. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to pass turn. Oh, it's okay. Oh, did I not have enough? Oh no, it didn't even give me the option. That's fair. If I don't have enough cards, yeah, that'll do it. That will do it. All right. Putting my faith in you, Double Vision. What are the odds that Rukulin has someone to poke me through? I've already seen her Liliana, so there's the take three that's gone. Right, do what we've got to do. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing. okay. Unfortunately. So that's one more. Oh, crap! I actually did have enough that time. Jay? Jay, what are you doing? I'm tired. This has been a long day. It's a story and I'm sticking with it. Morale's outburst. And that'll only leave three. We could roll and try to hit Gigantha and then hit another. Okay. That's not great. Ah. Uh, that leaves us with three, we said. One, two, actually. 
Take the Storm Tamer just to block. Just a little blocker. All right, now Jay, please this time do not forget about Glenn's, okay? It might end up working out, but likely no. Could have used the extra card in all likelihood. Boop. All right, what you got? Not that I have the mana to cast Glimpse now, anyway. Bomb? Regular cast Valky. Alright, we're actually going to play the Electro Inside first. Since we're, in all likelihood, using the Valky regardless. Here we go. Alright. One. Two. Three. Four, and then one of the land destruction spells, the, the worst one, usually. We're just kind of holding ourselves against the ropes here. Ah. Well, rip, I guess. Do we even want to play it? Yeah, well, we don't have enough to uh, use Castle of Antris anyway, even if we play it because it comes in tapped. Still, that might help us on a future turn. Having that extra man. <sighs> oh dear. You can use Kaza for a while just to jump block. And that might even be better. Just as a recursive creature. We have two wizards now at least. There we go. You hate to see it. Uh... If you pull out a red planeswalker that deals damage straight to me, I get punished for this. Uh, we'll take it though. Alright. 17 to 1. We don't have enough. That's right. Oh, crap! I Stop doing that, Jay. You had enough cards. Well, it's okay. It worked out. post hoc justification. Alright. I, I did say I look a mess, hence no webcam. Well, I'm tired as heck, apparently. Apparently. Let's activate. Cheaper. And which one we want to which one would we like to leave? The Soul Spear problem. Soul Seer. Soul Spear. I'm playing Dark Souls. Oh, okay. That might not be bad. Maybe. Maybe we can make it work. Alright, pass it right along. Come on, Jay. Wake up. Woo! Yeah. Instant or sorcery. Uh, explosion for zero. Alright, off to my turn. So how much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's just enough. I don't think there's any reason to not go attacking here. Right, explosion. Explosion! Alright, so first bit is five damage. And I would like to draw five cards. Oh, I could have drawn six here. That's a reason why. It's not worth the one damage. Jay. not showing my best. I'm sorry. Not my best showing. Alas. 
Solemn Snake. It does destroy an artifact, which would draw her a card, which is probably fine, I suppose. So, kicking cost... I think I'm seeing four blue. So we can do seven mana. We have ten mana, so... I guess let's go for it. Wait, it's worded as next instant or sorcery cost S X less. Or X is the number. Ah! Uh, can I undo that? I cannot. Okay, that's fair. I could have done this because she's a wizard. J. 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 Converted mana cost two or less. you off of blue mana, I guess? Not that it matters too terribly much. I'm sorry, I'll try to do a better showing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll we'll pass right along. Ooh, turn smooth for just a quick sec. Just uh just a second, just a moment. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, cultivate against the land destruction deck. Let's go. Right, so obvious attack is obvious. Rukulin draw a cad. Now it feels as if it's the other way around. Now it's Rukulin against the ropes just holding on. Although so far I haven't really been able to put a whole lot of pressure on her. Let's see. We can go for another expansion explosion with Mystic Sanctuary. That wouldn't necessarily be all that bad. Hazard Bombardment. That would be interesting. Yeah, we'll maybe save the Sanctuary, although it does put it on top, so I could get it back here in just a moment. Yeah. I guess that's not bad. Alright, Sanctuary. Make that our next draw. Expansion Explosion. Put it on top. Like you never, never stop. So, non-enchantment permanents. One, two, only one blue mana, three, uh, black. Uh, sure. Destroy the other black mana. I'm a little worried about dragon effects. Such, such that may exist. Right, and we have into the royal for safety. Back up. Which one? Aha! And then pass it right along. Let's move over to sad face. Sad face McGee. Ooh, exile target card from a graveyard. What's that? Who's that? Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll do it. Well, 
rip. Rest in peace for that specific one. Hmm. Cleansing Nova. We can return Kaza to hand. But I don't know that. Oh, all artifacts are enchantments. Let's turn. Let's return Bombardment to hand. It still used up a card at least. Oh, no. Yeah, that was about to get really silly. Because the counters actually stay on the permanent, so bombardment will still be. We'll actually have more targets at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought I did. I did definitely think you had me. Whew. <laughs> Land destruction versus the the ramp deck. Let's go. LD versus ramp. Woo! <laughs> greatest, greatest games of magic, right? LD versus ramp. This looks like a kind of like a weird Nars, like a Doc Mr. Fantastic Narset. Look at the Reed Richards white. I guess he only has the white sideburns, doesn't he? Something around there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll do it. If you if you don't draw the planeswalkers, that that will uh, that'll do it. Let me shoot you another challenge. See if we can make another one of these work out. Set it to brawl. I challenge you. It's my I guess bad Yami Yugi impression. Oh hello. Eeny meeny miny. This one's standard. This one's standard. This one's very much not. This one's not bad. Uh, what on earth did I do with this? Uh, this is out of date. Uh, this one's not fun to play against. Narset might be interesting. Yarok might be interesting. Let's do something a little bit different, I guess. Yarok time. Yarok is a panharmonicon, basically. Ooh, Scarab God. Ooh. Let's go. Lands would be nice. Hmm. Okay. Well, YOLO. Yarok the Desecrated and Kruga the Macro Sage as my companion. Let's see if we can find another land. Yeah, that's not a land. That's not bad, but against Scarab God, I don't know that we'll be dealing with a ton of creatures, let's say. Uh, it's a sorcery. I should have played it first. No! Oh, well. Oh, well. It's okay. We can use it to turn Scarab God into a frog. Black as well. I'm actually saving it for repudiate now. Maybe it'll make a difference. Nope. Tome Battle Mage. Okay. Yeah, you can have it. There we go. Fable Passage. ETB or deals combat damage. Okay. Oops, not you. Yeah. Hello? No? Alright. Let's see what the other side of this is. Creature you control. Okay. Alright, so let's start off with incubation. Put it into your hand. Good, 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 good. We'll use it now. Pelucranos. Hostage taker. Yes! Wait, is Agent of Treachery banned in Brawl? I genuinely don't know. Do it now. Get ourselves a visionary. I guess right now it looks like green is the color we need the most. So 
hell are the gears? Alright, so we'll get another card in. Ooh, Death Sprout. Ooh. Lantern! Yeah, I hate to do it. At least it's not card damage, it's filter. Draw discard. It could be worse. Man, imagine if that were, what, Shadow Mage Infiltrator? The Chris Pecula card, I think it is. Frost Links. Uh... Hmm. Let's do Death Scroll so we can just get another land. May not necessarily be right. Hit two. I had enough to go for Lich, and Lich can be made indestructible. But now we're going to have Garuda Shadows. Uh, so let's play Yo. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh no. Hmm. <sighs> Creature or artifact. One more mana and we could actually take the lantern and play it. That would be nice. I'd like to get Yarok into Garuda or Hostage Taker or something. Yeah, we'll do Yarok now. Oh, but we're about to have to sacrifice Yarok. Yeah, you idiot. That's fine. That's fine. Yep. That's okay. Ah, genius. I scared guy. Well, we know how this part's going to go. If nothing else, at least we have an idea how this part goes. Let me make sure before I do this, I'm not, mi I'm not missing something. Get you. And exile can put it back into the command zone, so. Or can it? Oh! Oh! No, it doesn't, actually. No, you got it. Hmm. Ooh, this is a lot of mana. I think you've got me, Rooklyn. I think you've got me. No. Maybe we can make something happen with this. It's not likely, but I can try. I can hope. Oh, I mean, sure, but then I lose the mana to be able to deal with Scarab God. It's not really a great way out of this. When Scarab God uses that ability, she has the ability to use it twice, given how much mana she has going on. Unfortunately, it is just one of those, if you if you get it, you just win. Uh, if you get it and you get to untap with it, then you can kind of just win. It took over standard for a good reason. Did I seriously not hit anything? Agent is off. So is Gary. It keeps Scare God from attacking, but that's not really. No! Nope. Nope. Ah! 
As you can imagine from a Yorok deck, it doesn't have any rings. Good game. You got me. I think you got me. Ow. Ow. Ow, Paul. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What's the silver from Sonic 06? It's no use! <laughs> it's never any use. Uh... Another... Oh, Garuda helped me more than you. H brawl. That was great. <laughs> you're not wrong, Ruklin. You're, you're not wrong. Go for it again. Uh, different deck this time. There we go. Hardly ever get a chance to play Historic Brawl, so time to jump through all the different decks. I, I, I'm pretty sure this one's standard. And she's seen Joda. Standard... Silly, silly combo time. Captain Sissy versus... Who is that? I can't make it out just from the picture. Ah. Who is this? Okay. One or more creatures you fight become... Or become blocked draw a card. You control the fighter, become blocked. That creature must be blocked. Okay. That's gonna be fun. Sure, we'll keep. Make it work. Hold control. Play a forest and pass the turn. As you do. As you do. There's that command tower, which had better be in this deck. I, I certainly hope so. Alright, Paradise Druid first, because Hexproof. Four mana next turn, that's enough for Sissa. I'm assuming this is the kind of deck that can actually deal with her. I should be able to kill Sissa, unfortunately. Does, after all, care about fighting. Though, they don't have a creature out yet. Not just yet. So maybe I shouldn't go for Sissai just yet. But, if I can get it to work, then we're in great shape. Big if. Also go for more RAM, so I could play Kogla. Hmm. It seems like the obvious play. It seems like that's what I should do. But don't you just play your game. Let's just play Alright. How dead is she? What makes you think that? Oh god, no. Oh no. No! Yes. Alright, six mana now. <laughs> uh, was it... Um, why did you just die? You put two counters on it. Fights a creature you don't control. Yeah, that's a 2-2. Two -two. That was that should have been a two three. You could, we know it was big enough to actually kill Sisse because of where she is. Uh, not sure. I'm I'm checking it out. All right, it's a uh, green green X. So one two. Wait a minute. You put extra mana into it, didn't you? No no, this came in tapped. All right, so it should have been. A 2-3 at the moment. Uh, choose one. Enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters. Fights a creature you don't control. So it should have dealt two to Sisse. Who dealt two back to it. Should have left it with one. 
I may be missing something, but wasn't it a 2-3? I think so, right? What's the- am I on crazy pills? Hmm... Honestly, you got me. I- I don't- I couldn't tell you what just happened there. Alright. That- that's weird. That's weird. Looking like it. Speaking of, here's another elf. Dog, I heard you like elves. Uh, hi, you. You you who gets to fight all the time. Oh, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. So we can dump some mana into Incubation Druid. First, I guess let's get the free Reese, because he uses one mana, but you gain one mana tomorrow one. Then, we can do two here. That's an elf. One, say, green, because, oh, hello. Wait, it's equal to her power, so she's actually making four here. So we don't have to tap the Paradise Druid. So we can just make green. And then tap it four, and then adapt. And now we have four mana again. Which, as it turns out, gain a life is enough to play and equip the Incubation Druid. Let's do three green, because why not? Put it onto you, and if they attack, I can try or fight. I can make Paradise Druid make it lose indestructible. Ta da! 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 This is the mono puke out your hands deck. Okay. Can make it fight. Dealt damage, deals that much damage to target opponent. I'm waiting for the combo. We'll try it out now. What could possibly go wrong? What could ever possibly go wrong? Yeah, Shadow Spear having its unique advantage here. You can get it with Captain Sisse, and sometimes it has this odd little utility. Um, plus one, plus one counters. Target player gains X life. Or, wait, fights target creature you don't control. We'll do it again. It's unfortunate, but it, it works, I suppose. Wait, why did I just do that again? Deals that much damage to me. That's okay. Because... It's okay because... We're gonna have some extra mana here. Alright, so fight again. I'm gonna take out a big ol' hefty hit. Deals that much damage to me. It's okay. We can play Sisse for the umpty seventh time. Alright, we don't have enough to equip, but let's attack just to get some life back. And then if she happens to kill Sisse again, we can just cast her again. Oh, is that good game? Yeah, she knows what happens once I get a chance to untap. You untap with Sisse and you, you get to do all the things. <sighs> now I actually did, so you get Paradox Engine, uh, and then you hopefully have another spell in hand, so you can untap, 
and then just go crazy. Yeah, she knows when- Oh, First Valky. I think- No, no, second Valky, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna use that in historic. Never drawn the chest terribly. <laughs> it does seem like it would be more consistent. Um, hmm. Especially since it draws you cards. Didn't have a, a chance to really get out the uh, commander, though, unfortunate, unfortunately. The whole thing with my creature dying when it shouldn't have. Yeah, Shadow Spear was there for Sisse to tutor, but we take those. We take those. Another uh, piece of the combo, which is, uh, I, I can demonstrate it against, uh, well no, I can't do it against Sparky, because Sparky doesn't do Brawl, does she? Not sure. Oi. Oh yeah, that was messed up. <laughs> At least I recorded. That was really messed up. I'm not sure what I'm still not sure what happened. Maybe we could watch it back. Maybe there's something about it that I saw incorrectly, but it definitely looks like it should have had three toughness with two damage marked on it from Sisse. I, I genuinely have no idea how that happened. Maybe if, if you're watching this and you saw something I missed and I'm just big dumb, then okay, but uh, that, that really looked... <laughs> that, that looked super weird. Hmm... Hmm. It kind of reminds me here. Reminds me of when Merfolk Trickster would kill Goif on MTGO. Yeah. So Tarma Goif is supposed to be an O1 if it loses all abilities, which means that when Merfolk Trickster causes it to lose all abilities, it shouldn't die, but it would. And so my, my gift that I would use in response when someone complains, like Nik Nikachu pointed that out, or when someone complains about it, is the Kinshiro cracking his knuckles. <laughs> Kinshiro from Fist of the North Star. Like, Merfolk Trickster just gets to be uh, Kinshiro. I guess because of how it's coded, maybe it's treated as an ability, I suppose, on MTGO. Without actually seeing it myself, I'm not sure why that would be. That at least seems plausible to me. I can see a world in which that's the case. Or, obviously, I'm sure it's more complicated than that. Would you like... Uh, another? Or shall we switch formats? <laughs> you know, there's probably some tier 6 Hydra deck out there in Historic that that's... Uh, Either form of brawl. Okay. Historic again? Since we don't get to play it as often. You know. As you, and also, we can come across crazy interactions like that. That's always fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo! Let's see what we get going on here. Alright, so which, which uh, commander should we do now? We could try Element. Oh, we haven't tried uh, you, have we, you choik? Oh, we definitely haven't tried you. Let's give it a shot. This one's woefully out of date, but this one's not particularly serious anyway. It's, I guess, I guess like a prison. Ooh, but we might be able to make it work against a pirate deck, like a, an aggro deck. He's a prison commander. Yes. Okay, so here he is. Can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless their controller pays one for each of those creatures. So you can imagine it, it ends up being kind of, kind of janky. Ooh, what was that? Alright, Arena. This is Arena. It, it is the game that gave me. Here. Uh, I'll wait till it's not my turn to say that. Uh.
Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. This is the game that gave me an invisible mountain and them a ley line. After all. Alright, yep, Signet is 100% your card, for sure. Alright, in before runs out of lands. Yep, kind of. We'll take it. That's fine. We'll take that. We take those. I guess. Now, Baird is going to die right off the bat if I just play him out. Even if I hit another land here. In these colors, also Beckett Brass is four man. Enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a pirate, put it on top. Okay, that's cool. Nice. So Lumen Spawns just keeps it from attacking or blocking. It's not strong enough for Giant Killer to take it out. I guess we just would like to hold up Seal away. Slow, but it might work. It's called Chop Down. Look at the little guy. Look at him go. Oh, we did get it. Um, well, with this being your top deck, maybe we actually do want to play our commander here. On the other hand, this is going to come down. And then they're going to attack. Well, how much is it? They have four mana already, no matter what. It will still count as attacking if I seal it away. So we'll fire off the luminous bonds here. I was hoping to save that for Admiral Beckett Grass, but that's over. That's all right. We'll be okay. Also, she is a three. Th she actually would turn on Giant Killer for other creatures, just not herself. Could have been a Johnny Strength of the Pride. The, the, a Johnny, a Johnny's Pride Mate. A Johnny. Ruthless Mate. Oh boy. Oh boy. I haven't gotten a tri -land. Doesn't really do a great deal of good there, does it? Hmm. Let's see. Could play you out, but you are going to die pretty soon if I do that. Pretty soon. All right, buddy. Show me what you got. You are a 2-4 against a 3-2. Maybe we can make something. It's the hope, anyway. Yeah, our prison deck. Oh, all red? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? Okay. Never mind. Plus one, plus one, and gains damage. Ooh, That's a thing. Target attaching. Plus one, plus one, and gains damage. Oh, no. Ow. Hmm. We go, all that glitters. Nothing here has death touch right now. Oh, wait, yeah, you do. Crap, you do. We need to kill that thing first. doesn't do anything for us just yet. So we can hold up the giant killer and seal away. Alright. Again, having to actually pay mana per attack, that's that's a thing. Alright. Um I hate to do this. It's not the way I would have preferred it, but we'll take it. still get to fire off the raid. 
Raid Shadow Legends. Alright, there's another. That's fine. I think that's probably okay in Brawl. You don't care about the run total too much. Ooh. Interesting. Draw a card. Yeah, no kidding. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, it's a tall but I'm waiting to get to you. Soon enough, I hope. Yo, that sound. Super worried about getting alive just yet. Yeah, by the way, that last one's a zero, interestingly enough. Alright. Uh. Do we want to play the giant killer or hold up seal away? I think we want to hold up seal away, don't we? Yeah, I think we do. Could be wrong. Maybe I'm not. Spectral Sailor. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's not like she's gonna be at a loss of mana. She'll be she'll be fine on that. We can use this to take away the Dire Fleet. What is it? Dire Fleet Buccaneer? Neckbreaker. Inter create it. Other pirates you control get plus and plus one. Well, jeez. There's a whole lot of these things. Dang, dude. So they can attack with three creatures if they pop a treasure. I'm not going for that though. Ooh. Ooh. Do we want to lose a Johnny? Oh no, they're both going after Johnny. We can block here. I guess that would be a thing. Get rid of the Death Touch creature or. Neither one's great, to be honest. Neither one is fantastic. Can't wait till we get all that glitters on Zatalpa, but until then, we're just kind of having to <laughs> work with what we have. Oh, boy. Would just be another creature. Alright. Take that. And... Alright, Johnny, you have been spared. Alright, what you got? Two for Heartless Act. Oh no. Almost. Stick with us just a little bit longer, buddy. Just a little bit longer. We can make this. I know we can make it. really a point in using the... Ah, oh, I could have used field... Uh, crucible field. Oh, why did I not do that? It's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't really make a difference. Ah, uh, you know what? We might want to use all the glitters here. Or we could put it onto you. Nothing else is death touch, does it? No, it does not. Alright. Stick it on the Vigilant creature. Let's go. I'm just gonna hope we get there. Hey, 5-7. Let's go. Yeah, I should have played the Crucible first. I can hold up a potential combat tricks, but theoretically. Hopefully that'll slow the roll just a little bit. Still, this Johnny should be super. Heartless Axe, yep, alright, that's fair. Two down, and now they can just attack. Swing, bada 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 bada. Oh, Bird Rune, let me get a chance. Ooh! Oh no! Oh no! Let me see what she wrote. Let me see what she wrote. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a GG letter, maybe? No. Arena's very good. 
Zatalpa in hand. <laughs> Where's uh? There we go. Oh. Ah, so close, and yet so far. Watch it not even be another land for four or five turns. Watch it be that way. It do be like that. One more. Maybe we can get one more in. Would have been a good target for Beckett Brass. Oh, what does she do? What does she do again? I forgot she had another ability. It, does she, like, take control of things? I remember her being a pirate lord, but beyond that... Ah. It's not like I ever actually saw her in, uh, in Standard. Did I? Did I? I don't think so. Well, if we're only going to get in one more, let's go for... Out of day elementals. Thalia. Let's go for Thalia. Well, I haven't played Thalia. I'm almost certain. Oh, hi, you again. Ooh, that doesn't seem bad. Lands. Hey, we have lands. We have lands. Also, this deck is wildly out of date, so. Don't. Don't, uh. Expect too much out of it, unfortunately. We can try, but alas. Uh, just to have a two one against a fight deck. We probably want to save it. Ah, the sneeze just in time. What was that? Alright, come on, Thalia. So, if she has removal, it's not one. Ooh, okay. Choose another creature you control. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, so it does it automatically if that's the only answer. Okay. Two first strike. Let's go. All right. Now this is just when it enters the battlefield until your next turn. It's not. There you are. The beginning of combat on your turn, and they pay that much. We'll just get out, to priest. Do your thing. Do your thing. You did it! <laughs> it's it's silly like that. Alright, so if we play this, one, two, three, we would not have enough mana for combat trip. One, two, three, Not that it matters too terribly much, but I guess we'll do it this way. Yep, an opponent. Comes. And then exiles it back to the command zone and all that. Oh no! Yeah, there it goes. About to I was about to say. Huh. Yeah, I can't run too many non-creatures because of it being a Thalia deck, but because we run so many creatures, we can bypass Convoke just a little bit. Not much, but just a bit. I'm gonna bet that I don't have another planes coming up, so we'll take the bird at the hand. We'll take the extra land. Right, four mana Bosra, let's go. Hello? On to my turn, please. Thank you. Thank you. Probably should have played the War Leader first, right? Alright, maybe this is maybe this will work. We'll just go for it. We have indestructible anyway. By sacking the bodyguard, we can get indestructible regardless. 
All right, please with six mana. Okay, Cogla. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Ah, yep, 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 yep. That'll work. Dauntless Bodyguard is not selfless savior. If only. My turn. All right. Our kind of absolution. Plus one, plus one counter on a creature. Nothing can get up to quite high enough, unfortunately. Uh, alas. Here's another first strike, though. An instance of first strike. So we're very close if we put it on you. Um, Ward Leader might be a way to deal. I don't have any enchantments except for you. Yeah, that might be okay. Archon plus Forbidding Spirit. For, yeah, Forbidding Spirit next turn, perhaps. Hmm. This one plus one with each other creature you control. I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. Put a counter on you. And the next turn, it'll be a 6-6 six, six that can come in and make a couple creatures with lifelink. We'll probably just drop one of our tokens. It's not like this thing has trample anyway, thank you guys. Ooh, it gets to fight a creature. Fight Club, let's go. Well, the good news is if they fight the war leader, it'll die. No, no, it won't. Look, it's a 7-8. Takes five, has three left. If you attack, I will absolutely make that trade. Blizzard Brawl. Target creatures you don't control. If you control three or more snow permanents, plus one, plus so indestructible, those creatures fight each other. It's definitely not ideal. <laughs> That's a little understatement. Just a tiny bit. Well, that ended up working out for you. Now, 7-8. We are pretty far away. Don't have quite enough to get out the hoplite just yet. This makes it cost two less each of those creatures, and it's a 3-3. Three, 3-2 three. Three, pro-white. It gets to keep it around. We could just stack counters onto a white creature, onto a flying creature. May not be the worst thing ever. And then do pro white. Are you kidding me? J pro white. Ah! I just said that. I just said that. All right. For the low, low price of one more land. Ooh, fight commander. Fight club, fight club, fight club. All right, that works. That will do it. Oh, that's why. Yes, please move Thalia to her, her new home, temporarily. Just for a bit. Just for a hot sack. Well, we still haven't gotten there yet, have we? Alright, we can make some sacrifices to kill... Yeah, we, we need to kill Dark. That's gonna be a problem, isn't it? One... Two... Gotta be really careful about playing out the Eidolon because it's an enchantment. And this destroys an artifact or enchantment. Gotcha, bub. This would be interesting. So Charming Prince, Scry 2. Yeah, let's, let's go for that. Hopefully we have enough time. Scry 2. 
Ooh, Cavalier is five. Destroy up to one target non-land permanent, yes. It's five, so we, we actually would like them in this order. Alright, it's not like it's going to last for too long, but we'll pretend it does. Hey, might as well. Might as well try. What's the voice that could happen? Let's not give that value, though, by playing out the Eidolon. Ooh, cultivates. Okay. This will get her well outside of Thalia. Uh, well, I say that. Maybe there's more expensive stuff than I'm thinking. More expensive non-creatures. It's certainly possible. Migration path. Okay, yeah. There. There we go. Yep. Yep. Kogla doing work. Yep. You, you may blow up my, my uh, Conclave Tribunal. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Don't ask me which Bond movie that is. I should know, but... Alas. Alas. Well, off to my next turn. Let's see. Begin of your upkeep, put a plus and plus one counter on each other creature you control. So in order to put some more on her, I have to use Pauzry. Uh, this might be okay, just to keep stacking them onto Charming Prince. I feel as if I might get punished if I... Like, that surely she has another fight effect. I'm positive. In fact, I'm I'm really positive she does. Doubled its power. Creature must be blocked if able. Okay. So it's not a fight. It's just... You know what? She's at a low enough life total. We can try to just poke her through the last bit. Admittedly, I was not expecting this. But we'll, we'll take it. Alright, so there we go. Double power must be blocked if able. Thankfully, no menace, no trample, nothing like that so far. I'm waiting for it, though. Uh-oh. Alright. Joust. If it's a knight. Okay. And you are a warrior. Ooh, uh-oh. Alright, rip Basri. Oh, jeez. Alright. I'm sorry, buddy. You did your best. You did your best. Destroy up to one non-land permanent. And now you have a 3-3. Congratulations! Yes. I will force you to either double block your... Oh, here we go. Alright. And next turn, if we get to keep this Cavalier, big if, but if, then we can try to use Hoplite to make a ton of tokens. Forbidding Spirit does probably nothing at this point, unfortunately. They have to pay an extra two per creature, but whoop de doo Ooh. I'm sorry, what is Outmuscle? Plus and plus one, fight start creature you don't control. Creature you gain control gains indestructible until your turn. Right, so indestructible, and it's a 3-3. Three, three. So they'll get to draw a card if they... One or more creatures you control fight or become blocked. Draw a card. I don't think we care for that. Oh, I must block it if able? What gave it that? Uh... Oh! They act she activated... Uh, Nia's ability. Yeah, that'll do it then. I actually missed that. As quickly as that went by, I missed that. Yep. Add that to my hand. Yes, please. Alright. 
we can go Eidolon or Forbidding Spirit, either one, into... Oh, this doesn't help that much. We should save it for a future turn. Should... No, we have Hoplite. And then pay it all. I have to tap you as well. You're just going to get your commander back next turn if I get rid of that. So instead, we'll get rid of the golem. As much mana as you have, Rukulin. I'm a little scared of that. Uh oh. This is just my counter, and it fights. Now. She can double its power, but I don't think... Yeah, the way it's worded, she can't do that multiple times. Uh, so we're about to take eight here. Well, that's not good. Well, that's not good. Alright, what's your shtick? Your shtick. What CMC2 less creatures? Charming Prince? I guess? Maybe? We could go for Charming Prince here. And then try to have enough mana for Hoplite. And Hoplite can hopefully stall the game for a while. Although at this point, it's not even stalling the game that I'm worried about. Hello? Alright, there we go. We could make enough tokens to just swing out, but I don't know that we'll get there. Scry 2. Alright, see what we get. Hey! Over here. And over here. There we go. Took you long enough. That way, even if she ends up fighting one of my creatures, I'll be able to block for a Johnny for a sec. Hot sec. Fights another creature. Yup, it sure does. <laughs> Nyrith's Fight Club. Nyrith's Fight Club, let's go. Oh jeez, that's another fight. Oh, she almost has enough mana to straight up kill me now. Straight up kill me. Ah, uh, jeez. Alright, so at this point you go for a Johnny. Yep, yep. Because next turn she can kill, she has enough to kill me. Well, uh, right on time. Hmm, yep, we have to go for the Hoplite. Super small devotion. It'll be two because of the tribunal uh, and hoplite itself. All right. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. And because she keeps drawing cards, she keeps finding new ways <laughs> to to fight me. So it's not like she can really run out of gas. I mean, realistically, I guess she could, but it's not happening. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Woo! Yeah, take all the time you need. This is, <laughs> I'm sure you've got plenty of options. If this is going to be the last one, I'll definitely play it out. Oh, I knew it! Primal Might? Okay. First of all, hold it back. I mean, I knew that had to be in there somewhere. Not that I do it was here. Alright, here we go. Jeez. Alright, so it does have trample, and I have to block it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
got a... Uh... Yep. Ta-da! Woo! Draw a card. Yep, it has trample, so... Every rebirth looks like a death. I can see that working here, too. Man, if you could activate that multiple times in a turn, not just at the beginning of combat, just whenever you felt like it, or at the beginning of combat, activate this any number of times, I don't know, then you may pay X any number of times. <laughs> Woo! Alright. <laughs> Big Chungus at the end. Or, uh, Big Chungus. Big, big chungus. Home, big chungus. Alright. Big. Bo Wait, Kenrith? K yeah. Kerith? Whatever. That was fun. It's pretty. End up with not enough for the double. <laughs> Well, I appreciate it. I really do. It's it's cool to get to f jam some historic brawl again. It's been a hot minute. You'll get to see from the other side uh, how silly that was. <laughs> I'll I'll try to have some new uh, brawl decks. Been hanging on to plenty of those for quite a while. Now now that I've played them, I can retire them and try out another commander or two or twenty. Woo! Alright, and thank you for watching. Uh, take care, Magic Community. I guess I'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye.